Okay, so this is my first ride again and it feels amazing but weird at the same time. Okay, so I'm just leaving Isaac. So we've got Isaac, Jamie, Michael with me now. Um, believe we're getting doubles. There's Isaac. Too loud, Jesus Christ. Sheepy. Yeah, it's been so long since I've been up Moors. Um, it's probably going to be a long time since I do off-road moto vlogs as it will be really hard on my leg but I should be able to be go riding around like this for a bit. That is a beast. too fast because of Mike. But yeah, surprisingly it doesn't hurt my legs. First time um, first time that I've actually taken my boot off and walked with just one crutch so and it's actually surprisingly alright. I want to say a big thank you to all the people who have messaged me and been really supportive over the whole thing. Um, big thanks to my mum, dad, and my girlfriend, obviously, because they've always been there. Don't know whereabouts Mike is. I heard something like something grinding like a tractor or something over the hedge and I literally just fucking shit myself because I thought like my bike was seizing up or something but it seems to be all good. Mike's behind. But yeah anyway you're gonna have to like put up with these sort of moto vlogs at the moment. I'm not gonna be doing anything stupid obviously. I'm not gonna be racing around because this is like the first time I've been out literally gone from my house to Isaac's, waited for a little bit and now we're going doubles I believe. <laughs> so, should be good. It is so good to be back on the bike though. Um, I am going to be doing a helmet giveaway at some point. I haven't decided what for yet or when, but the rules as you would call it maybe is uh, are all going to be on my instagram so if you go follow that same as my youtube uk pitster i've also got a big surprise coming soon that's going to be available um so i'm not going to tell you what it is yet but will be out soon but yeah overall um I've got a lot of requests for different videos and I will be doing them all over the next couple of like, what, weeks, months, whatever. Um, bike feels great with the 
new bars, levers and everything that I've put on that you've seen so far. Um, haven't seen what the headlights are like but Daryl got the same one as me and he says that it's amazing so yet to find that out. Um, but yeah, the bike's running great other than the fuel's sort of gone off a little bit so I can't really see what power difference is like but it feels fast as fuck. Sounds great too. Um, Daryl's meeting us at half four, we're going to go get him from work and I guess I'll check in with you guys then. Wanker. Well, so this is my first race, well not race, it's my first ride on the KTM. And compared to the Kawasaki, it is quick as fuck. It is literally like being on a completely different bike, it's insane. What are you doing, you dickhead? Fuck's sake! It's just come on to fuel. Just come on to reserve. KTM versus KTM. I wonder who'd win. But yeah, a lot of people have been asking how I mix the fuel, so might as well start with that, fucking... Yeah, it'll definitely take fucking five litres. Oh, I forgot it doesn't have a thing. So yeah, put it up to 5 litres because that's 40 to 1 because I've got 125 mil of... Come on! Ah. That'll do. How much is that? Six pound ten. It better run better now. I'll put fucking shell in it. Just tell him to keep the tempe. So yeah, and I carry that round. The line is 125 mil, put just over because I thought it was going to be empty, but for five litres I put 125 mil of oil in. I use Castrol Racing. So this is such a requested video. Before I get all the comments, yeah, my crutch is on my bars, I know. And yes, my speedo's broken. I'll do a walk around of the bike at some point. I've got a new helmet too, which you can see at my Instagram, which I'll put in the description. Now I've got to wait for Daryl. 
always keep getting the questions as well that um, people keep asking me how I get so many hours on my bike. Well, basically, when I'm on the road or just like cruising round, I don't really open it. I just sit just out of power band. Also, something which I just found, I just put this little switch on. this little switch on and it's basically if you turn it off it's half power and if you turn it on it's full power mode and supposedly it'll save the fuel and everything so these cars are going to try and pass me to know what speed that was. But yeah, I don't hold my bike open, I just sort of give it quick blasts. 